For the speaker, when he's here in Washington, it usually starts very early. And this is his morning time by himself. You know, I'll walk up to Starbucks and uh, grab some coffee and walk back. It just kind of gets me moving, six o'clock in the morning. Walk up to Pete's, have breakfast. Morning, boys. Morning, John. Morning. Morning. Not too shabby. Trying to stay out of trouble. Time to clear the mind a little bit. I'll come back, read everything there is to read, look at my schedule and the briefing papers for the day, call my wife, and then uh, get moving. He'll arrive at the Capitol around 9 o'clock, where our team's already been in place here since about 7.30 a.m. preparing for the day. And once he arrives, we flip the switch and off we go. I only see part of his day, and that's basically from 9 to 6 in the Capitol building. Um, before that, he has his own morning routines. He reads all of the memos that we put together, a briefing book for him the night before, which are laid out in chronological order of how his schedule looks that day. He starts off most of his days with his staff huddle meetings, which is a group of senior staff members who kind of give a lay of the land, what's going on on the floor, what's going on with certain bills. And then he has his leadership meetings, which are called daily management meetings. He meets with the majority leader, the majority whip, and the conference chair, and they go through what the week is going to look like. All of his time is accounted for. He opens the house every day that he can. House will be in order. The afternoon we reserve time for member meetings, constituent meetings, other groups coming in. Emmett Smith did come by. That was not on the schedule. There's so many moving parts. His schedule is so packed from morning until night. It's a little hectic, but it's organized chaos. The neat thing about the speaker is he treats everyone the same. His big motto is it doesn't cost anything to be nice. We walk through the Capitol, whether it's greeting guests or the people that come to our office for meetings. He treats everyone the same. Doesn't matter who you are. My job is being speaker of the house. And as difficult as it all is, you know, every day there's some little step in the right direction. That's what keeps me going. Everything stayed on schedule, so that was a great day. And we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Nothing good happens after 10 p.m. So I'm always in bed before 10, get up at 5.30, quarter to 6, and I'm ready to go.